guys, so today I decided to film a video on five of my all-time favorite nude lipsticks. Uh, some of them are like chubby lip pencils, but you guys know that I love my nude colors. Actually, these would probably be my only five lipsticks I would be happy to have in my collection and I don't even need the rest of my lipsticks or other lip products. Um, I would probably take one red lipstick as well, but these five are just my all-time favorite. So I'm gonna start with the cheapest one, the drugstore nude lipstick, which you guys will have heard me talk about these numerous times because they obviously are my favorite. You know what? I have new subscribers, maybe uh, some of you will be interested. So the first one is Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick, and I love this Moisture Renew range. They're really moisturizing, but they're not too creamy like YSL lipsticks. I personally really dislike YSL lipsticks. I find them way too creamy, way too slippery, and they're just not my cup of tea. And they're extremely pigmented. Sometimes I don't like that full-on, intensely pigmented lipstick. But um, anyways, these Moisture new ones are really comfortable on your lips, really moisturizing. Uh, they stay on your lips really well. I mean, the formula is just like of a high-end lipstick. And um, so my favorite one is 720 Notting Hill Nude. And uh, as you can see, it's a very well-loved lipstick. If I had to choose my three favorite, this would be one of them. And it's just the perfect nude for my complexion. I'm pretty pale, but I have very yellow undertone. And I don't like pink tone nudes, like they, I don't find that they suit me. Uh, rosy lipsticks generally, I don't really like rosy lipsticks on me as well. So I like my nude lipsticks to have a very warm um, undertone, kind of orangey, brownish, golden, you know, uh, nothing too pink. And on camera this might look pretty pink, but it's like a beigey color. And it's just so beautiful and so creamy. It has this sheen to it. I love this stuff to bits. And here in our drugstore shops, it goes on offer so often, so you can get it for five euros. And how crazy is that? Such a cheap price for such a wonderful lipstick. Okay, another favorite, and it's probably my most worn lip product of all time. This is my Clinique Chubby Stick in whole lot of honey number two, and this stuff is just amazing. Look how much I have left. That's almost nothing. I know some people don't really like the formula of these chubby sticks because they're pretty sheer, but I love that. You can see your lips through it. It's not a very intensely pigmented lip product. They have chubby sticks intense that are more opaque. It just kind of beautifies your lips. Your lips kind of shine through, but they're more beigey. This one is just beautiful. So it's this one here. You can see that the, the, oh my God, it's like really ruined. I need to get a new one as soon as possible because I love this stuff. And um, you can see that the colors are very similar, but this one is obviously much uh, sheerer. It's like a tinted lip balm. It stays on your lips really well. It's so quick and easy to apply. And I just love this stuff. It has to be my, I don't know, these two would probably be my all-time favorites. Like, these are my most worn ones. I'm gonna go get a new one. Another one is MAC Lipstick in Hug Me. Super beautiful lipstick. It might look, it might look really boring and brown and not so attractive in the bullet, but on your lips, it's gorgeous. It's extremely similar to Chubby Stick in a way that the color is really similar and the formula as well. It's a very sheer nude lipstick and it just looks perfect. It's perfect for every day, such a natural lip color that goes with everything. And I really like Jubilee from MAC and uh, I really want to get it. I feel like Jubilee is even warmer, it's more peachy. Um, this one is just a perfect, it's, it has a slight rosy undertone but not too much, it's like a very beautiful nude. And um, this, it's a Lester finish, if you're wondering. So this is Hug Me. Another one is from Burberry, and it's their lip cover in number 24, Romantic. And oh my god, this is so beautiful. It's, it's perfect for me, for my taste. 
you can see, and I love the pattern, I love these Burberry lipsticks. The formula is incredible as well, it's so beautiful. Um, kind of comparable to the Rimmel one, I would say. And this one is mostly peachy out of them all. You can see it here. I love wearing this one with a golden or bronzy eye makeup and it's just gorgeous. And the packaging, look at that. It's magnetic and it kind of twists its right position. Uh, I just love this lipstick. Okay, and then the last favorite would have to be um, this NARS. This is Satin Lip Pencil in Isola Bella. Uh, here is the name of it, Isola Bella. I don't like that you have to sharpen these pencils, it's so annoying. I wish it was twist up like, uh, like a chubby stick. And this is the most peach of them all. Again, the formula is insanely beautiful. It's so smooth and so satiny. It feels like silk on your lips and it's very pigmented, this one. It's not a sheer uh, lip product and it's like a very peachy nude. So yeah, guys, these are my top five nude lip products and my five favorite lipsticks of all times. I love them to bits and would highly, highly recommend that you guys get at least one of them because they're just gorgeous. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I found it interesting, inspiring. Um, I'm hoping some of you will go lipstick shopping and um, have a good day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!